Come on, we gotta get going. Duty calls. Well, I had all you can handle for one night, huh? I never have enough of you, darling. You know that. Hey! Think this place got a breakfast deal? This place? Sure. Just bang on the wall. I'm sure you get something. Yeah, no, no, don't knock it. It's got cable TV and the price is right. Uh-huh, and it's 30 miles from base. Come on. You know it wouldn't do either of us any good if they knew I was poking the right hand there. Oh, is that what you're doing? Ah, uh, what I mean is we function professionally first. Look, it violates PRP. You think nobody knows about us? Yeah, well, whatever. Look, it's just best we keep an official distance, that's all. Mm -hmm. The problem is your official distance starts the minute we get out of bed. I don't need that. Oh, now, come on the road, darling. You know you're the only irresistible thing in my life. Cut me some slack, will you? Come on, darling. I'm calling a cab. Now, that's dumb. Why? You wouldn't want them to see you dropping me off, would you? It might violate PRP. As room control, D send three five thousand. Contact Istanbul control zero at two five. Alitalia one zero one, air room control. New heading, turn left to two three zero degrees.
Shift supervisor, please. I have an unidentified aircraft, no mode C identification. yet on the missile? Not at this time, sir. We're just beginning to get a line plot. We have a preliminary missile trajectory moving north, northeast from Turkey to the Soviet border, sir. Check our bases, your satellite launches, and call NASA. Yes, sir. I'm moving our alert status to snowman. Town and what happens? I pull a week on alert duty starting on our honeymoon. Yeah. Do that to your own purpose, Captain. You should have kept quiet about the wedding. That's <laughs> right. right. Yeah. You know, you kept your mouth shut. You'd be sitting in a white key key right yeah. now in a hotel room. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait a second. If we were in a hotel room right now, I don't think we'd be sitting. <laughs> All our missiles are accounted for, sir. The Europeans report no launches. This makes no sense. I want a systems malfunction check. I have checked, sir. The target could be anywhere in that triangle, sir. Every damn target's in the Soviet Union. Oh sir, we have a nuclear detonation in the Soviet Union. I want absolute verification. Marriage is great, Brad. Yeah. But you gotta have one of these. <laughs> I'm not so sure. Sir, a Soviet nuclear response is in progress. We have positive verification. Give me General Redding on the double. Yes, sir. And change the alert code to cock pistol. Yes, sir. Hey, Lori, how's it going? Hey. Missed you last night. <laughs> so, how was Hopalong Cassidy? Oh, God. He's starting to drive me crazy, you know? I mean, he's so in love with himself. Sometimes I feel like I'm intruding. <laughs> well, he's a pilot. What else is new? That's bogus. You know, we're all pilots. Yeah, but we're not guys. Yes, sir, we've got the mother on. All targets are bid within the continent of the United States, Alaska, and Hawaii. I'm putting us in combat for you. We're going from preliminary attack conference to attack conference. I want the PSYOP computer options on this now. Yes, sir. Yes? Mr. President, I have General Redding for you. Fine. Put him through. Sir, we are facing an extremely serious situation. I have asked for full attack conference, my authority, we are moving from cock pistol to roundhouse. Is your EWO there, sir? Where's the Secretary of Defense? Why isn't he making this call? We've been unable to reach him. You'll need your emergency war order officer, sir. We need the codes, Mr. President. He's just gonna say that, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Major, what's going on with you and Captain Moreau? 
I don't know. She's okay. She's great, as a matter of fact. She is an Air Force brat. <laughs> I don't know. I got a lot of respect for her. She's a damn good pilot. Yeah, well, just do yourself a favor and never sleep with an officer. <laughs> Mr. President, an unidentified missile, Origin Turkey, detonated over Soviet Donetsk at 0530 Zulu. It was not fired by U.S. forces. But the Soviets have chosen to launch a strike against us. There has to be a mistake. Turkey's NATO. We certainly wouldn't fire a missile at the Soviet Union. Now, who the hell did? We don't know, sir. It could have been stolen. It could have been a trick. How do you say? Our relations couldn't possibly be better. Sir, I know it's hard to believe. Nevertheless, we are in the secondary stages of the Soviet counterforce strike. Our computers show random attack by Russian submarines, swarm attack by land-based ICBMs. We need your authority, sir. We need the codes, Mr. President. We are under attack. This is Pearl Harbor. Hey, O'Toole, are you in here again? Uh, how's the honeymoon, man? A little short, but sweet. She's good for you, she was for me? Frick. <laughs> Get me the Soviet president, the secretary of state, and my national security advisor here as soon as possible. There's no time for that, sir. General, I will not make a decision of this magnitude you without... You don't have to. Psyop has anticipated. We need your authority for the codes, Mr. President. No, General. This is my responsibility. I will not act precipitously on the basis of some goddamn computer. The goddamn computer will be destroyed in 21 minutes, sir, along with everyone here. Mr. President, message coming in on direct teletype from the Soviet president. We'll take that. Did you hear that, General? Yes, sir, I did. I also show... A submarine launch missile directed vicinity Washington, D.C., arriving in less than seven minutes, sir. General, I'm going to read that message. Sir, impact in less than six minutes. You're wasting time, sir, your own. I'll call you back, General. Sedgwick. Give me Alice in the looking glass, please. Yes, sir. Time for you to go, Admiral. Sir, are we absolutely certain about this? We have to have at least two command planes in the air at the same time. The Navy doesn't like to abandon ship, General. This is my ship. Yours is the E-4. Admiral, are you waiting for me to order you to go? No, sir. Goodbye, sir. General, I have Alice on the looking glass plane. Alice Harpoon is launched. The alert truck will be waiting outside, sir. Good luck, son. Shove it up there, commie asses, sir. Alice. Yes, sir. You have your battle plans and missile impact rejections? Clear as a bell, sir. Print them out. You won't have computers much longer. We've taken care of it, sir. I know. I'll try to check back in with you again, shall we? My clock says SAC goes in 19 minutes. We'll be here, General. Mr. President, by now you will know a nuclear device was detonated over the Soviet city of Donetsk. At that time, it appeared the missile was launched by NATO forces from Turkey, and our defensive system retaliated automatically. We now realize the first missile was launched by dissident members of our own military who feared our vastly improved relations and who conspired to overthrow this government and force war between our two countries. Our missiles are targeted for your long-range bomber bases and ICBM complex in Montana, the NORAD facility at Cheyenne Mountain, and the SEC command at Omaha. A single warhead is directed at Andrews Air Force Base. The target is symbolic, as this is the base from which you would leave Washington. To be blunt, Mr. President, you now have three choices. 
Accept the damage and we will stop. Your second choice is to respond with a limited counterattack that inflicts on my nation a similar amount of damage. We will each lose between six and nine million people in such an attack. This is acceptable to us. I realize this is a tremendous price to pay, and I know all too well the enormous military and political pressure you will be under to take your third option to respond massively. If this is your ultimate decision, I will have no choice but to reply with total nuclear commitment. Get your towel, Lieutenant. These fucking drills. I urge you to look at the tremendous gains we have made in the last few years. Let us not allow human error and the technology of the Cold War to destroy our hopes and our world. Start all engines. Start all engines. <clears throat> Good start, all engines. Generators, all engines. We're now on internal power. Clear checks. Come on, come on, let's go. Come on, Arturo, let's go, let's go. Raise your two soaking wet, sir. Just for goddamn sure. Well, I'll just send them around to dry them off as soon as the drill's over. I know you think it's real every time the siren goes off, but let's just get this over and get Arturo out of here. Yeah, you better think it's real, Angel. It's simpler that way. Sky King, Sky King, this is Cable Car. Stand by to copy your red dot five message. Message is Alpha, Golf, Hotel, India, Delta. Authentication time is two zero zero six zero five Zulu. Authentication is Sierra, Foxtrot. I say again, Sky King, Sky King, this is Cable Car. All right, gang, what's the drill? Do I shut him down or what? Pilot EW, this is a valid, I repeat, valid launch message. Radar, co-pilot, verify. Pilot radar, that's valid. Roger, confirm, it's a valid launch message. Prepare for scramble takeoff. Co-pilot ready. Co-pilot ready. Ready. Navigator ready. Ready. Sir, you have less than two minutes before Andrews is hit. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, I do. General, I want a response designed as closely as possible to the Soviet attack. And under no circumstances are their losses to exceed ours. Do you understand? Sir, we believe the Soviet president is out of position and their military are running things now. You are being conned on a level unprecedented in human history. General, I will hear no more of this. Now you instruct the computer. At the appropriate time, I will activate the codes through the proper civilian authorities as the law stipulates. Targets if not recall prior to positive control point.
I do heard it. Any questions? Any jokes? Any prayers? Something like northwest of here. Not at Andrews. What kind of damage are we talking about? This time of night, I'd say 50,000 people just died. Situation room? Omaha's back, sir. The White House, sir. Sir. General, I'm putting you on a speaker. They overshot Andrews by 13 miles, sir. The blast wave rolled up Rock Creek Park and took out Walter Reed Hospital. My father was there. I'm truly sorry, General. A father should die before his son. Anyway, the hospital wasn't a target. You were. You're lucky, Mr. President. You get what I want, a second chance. I don't follow you, General. Sir, this is just for openers. They'll go for our bases with their missiles and destroy our offensive capability. Then they'll mop up our cities with their bombers. You get a second chance to save the world from those bastards. Try your curtain, we're all... Negative. I'm not pulling my curtain. Close your damn curtain, or I'll close Negative. it for you. There's too much commercial traffic out here, Cassidy. I'm not pulling my curtain. Major? 
Or who's dead? Shockwave threw him into the instrument panel. Huh? He didn't have his harness on. He broke his neck. Shit. Radar. Gunner, what's their status? Um, I've, uh, I've, I've got one detonation at 6 o'clock, 10 miles. And uh, I've got one 15 miles dead ahead. Uh, Fairchild is gone, sir. The base is totally destroyed. Negative. I don't show that. Nothing happened to the base. It's still there. What the hell's going on with Tyler? You can see Fairchild's gone. Tyler doesn't have much to go home to now. I need the president now. General, don't you consider it possible that the Soviet president was sincere? I believe he is. Mr. President, as God is my witness, it makes no difference. The Chinese, in accordance with our treaty, have hit the Russians on their border. We can't even tell whether the Soviet president is still in control. All communications to the Soviet Union are down, sir. What does PSYOP suggest? A two-part sequence. Watch half our ICBMs targeted Russian silos. Their computer would be hard-pressed to tell which of our silos are empty and which are hid. How will the Soviets respond in, in this scenario? We cannot read what we must assume is extreme political confusion in Moscow at this moment. What would our computer say? In a politically normal situation, our computer would predict they would launch their ICBMs massively. At what targets? All our bases, military targets. And cities? Some, more than likely. Excuse us. Mr. President, the Soviets have initiated a second launch. Launch? At us? We can't tell. Are you suggesting we wait? This facility, SAC, goes in three minutes. If we don't hit them hard and hit them now, we may never get a second chance. Sir. I repeat, there is a second Soviet launch. Mr. President, we have to get you out of here. Please, sir. I'll go with the computer. We will launch according to procedure. Tom. Do you think the president was sincere? Mr. President, please don't torture yourself. We have to leave Tell immediately. Tell me, do you think he was sincere, Tom? Please, sir. General, I have the authenticator card. Day word, Cottonmouth. Command word, Trinity. Action word, Jericho. Uh, you got it? Yeah, I got him. Uh, okay. I got him. I got him. Nav co pilot. Are we still on course for our positive control point? I'm not really sure where we are, Captain. Tyler, check your INS coordinates in your heading right there, man. Hey, you do your job, Randall, and I'll do mine, all right? All right, everybody, listen up. We're all under EWO, emergency war orders. Is that understood? We got a mission to complete. We are EWO. Am I reaching you, ham heads? We will proceed to our positive control point at home for orders. Let's get these curtains open. Hey, Major, how about turning on the heater? Well, Tyler. Glad you could join us. Hey, Hooks. You think you can handle O'Toole's toys for us? I think I can handle it. Well, congratulations. You just received the first battlefield commission of this war. Whatever the hell this thing is. I'll take the job, Major. You can keep the bars. <laughs> Mr. Brown, don't you just have a test on? He's in a sweater. 
Mr. President. Some shots have been fired now. We're going to run to the chopper. Where are the shots coming from? Just people, sir. You got the last train out of town, sir. Move now, sir. Follow me. Harpoon, I don't know if the president will reach Andrews. All our military bases are being hit. Who's available to succeed? General, the vice president and most of the cabinet live in northwest Washington. We've been unable to contact them. The only one that we're sure of is the secretary of the interior. He was inspecting a wilderness preserve near Baton Rouge. Is the FBI out looking for him? And the army. E-4's two hours from touchdown in Baton Rouge. Alice, you're reading our new target projections in the Soviet Union. I got everything I need, sir. And our current impact areas in the U.S.? Yes, sir. Well, I've done about all I can. You and Harpoon take it from here. Oh, buddy. Yeah, Clay. Happy hunting. Sir, we can't make it to Andrews. It's not safe. I thought they missed Andrews. That's correct, sir, but we can't get a plane in. We're going to try for Dover. Mr. President, the, uh, the second Soviet launch, we were mistaken. It was directed against the Chinese, not at us. So by launching at the Soviets, we've kicked things up a level. It looks that way. Soviets have started to, to uh, kick us back now, so it looks like we've entered another level of, of escalation. Tom, I've got to turn this thing off. Can you reach a command plane? We can try, sir. Tyler's picked up a civilian radio station. Tyler, turn that damn thing off. All right. <laughs> you hear that music, Major? <laughs> That's life down there, sir. This whole thing simulated. <laughs> it's a drill. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty convincing, but uh, <laughs> I knew you guys were joking me. Tyler, damn you. Major, quit worrying. It's a drill. Who gives a shit? <laughs> Tyler, they're dead. <laughs> Everybody, you got that? They're dead. You're still alive. You got a job to do, so turn off the fucking radio and do it. Way to warm him up, Cassidy. I don't need that from you. Only the very low frequency seems to be working consistently. Well, the other systems on board two or three work off and on, the rest are still down. What's with Harpoon? You pick up the Secretary of Interior? I touched down five minutes ago, but it was a damn risky landing. I don't know if I would have taken the chance, General. We had to, Sam. The President's choppers confirmed down. We need a civilian leader, and he's next in line of succession. Sir, we don't know who else is still alive. We're not even sure Harpoon is after the right guy. What are we sure of? 
What's with the B-52s? Well, the last we knew, 15 of them were still flying, sir. Only half of them airborne refueled. Smoking again, sir. Sir, you need assistance? No, 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 no. Just get the Secret Service aboard so we can get our ass out of here before the old state of Louisiana rushes in. Please follow me, sir. <laughs> Mr. President? Harpoon. I'm sorry that the band won't be playing hail to the chief, sir. Yeah. Follow me. How, uh, how bad is it? Well, under the circumstances, it can't be very good, can it, sir? Are, are we losing the war? Well, I'm not sure that that's the issue, Mr. President. We need to be briefed. Tell you what, Gardner, I hate this job. I just want to get my MBA, man, and I'm out of here. Back to a nice, quiet, sane life. I can't handle these war games anymore. Okay, mission briefing. You're good. Targets. Targets? Come on, Tyler. You with us, guy? Uh. Satellite tracking station, heavy industry, electronic. Civilian population. Tyler, Russians, how many? Uh, just under a million, sir. All right, Tyler, it's good. Hang in there, buddy. Your clutch gets one megaton ground burst, low level, departing initial point inbound to target. Roger, inbound to target, heading 230, altitude 500 feet above ground level. Sure. Release airspeed 385 knots. Sure. Bomb release 20 seconds from my hack. Ready? Ready, hack. 20 seconds to bomb release. Escape heading straight through 230 degrees. Okay. Straight down Carl Mark Street. 10 seconds. And five, four, three, two, one, and bomb away. Pushing over, leveling of 500 feet, tail to the blast. Bye bye, you. Drill complete. Good practice run, guys. We're on time. Uh, sir, we're now 75 miles from our positive control point. You think it's going to be that easy on a real city? Yeah. No problem. Oh, I'm going to tell you something. You are a damn good pilot. One of the best I've had in that right seat. I never thought you'd fuck up mentally or physically, but you are fucking up right now. Here. Please. 
So far, it appears that the Soviet attacks have been limited to our military installations. And wherever they border population centers, I assume that we have suffered considerable casualties. Have they hit our cities yet? No, sir. Communications are down, reports are hard to get, but apparently it has been a rather even exchange. Even so far. Now, Mr. President, we have to make a decision. Very soon, our bombers will be here. They're positive control points. Now, if they are sent in, they will reach their target areas in four to six hours. Why haven't they been sent in already? Sir, if we don't turn this thing off, in a few hours, Soviet bombers will be roaming through this country, taking out our cities. Uh, Admiral, uh, excuse me, sir, if I may. Mr. President, I'm Colonel Fargo. What do you do around here? Soviet capabilities expert, sir. Oh, I see. It may be that the Admiral is overestimating the enemy. Most Soviet bombers are so old, they still have propellers. The Minnesota Air National Guard could probably knock them down. Well, do you want to get on the telephone and order them into the air, Colonel? Because every transistor in Minnesota is burned out. Now, Mr. President, we won't be able to stop half of those Soviet bombers. They will destroy our cities at will. And we'll send our bombers over there and do the same thing to them. Most of ours were caught on the ground, sir. Are you telling me that they hit more of the, our installations than we hit theirs? Sir, you have to realize this is not the kind of war where you can add up the score to see who wins. Believe me, mister, winning is everything. I agree, Mr. President. Up to now, you haven't gotten the whole picture. Yeah, in a minute, Colonel. What about our subs? How many warheads we got down there? Almost 6,000, sir. 6,000 nuclear warheads. Yes, sir. Well, shouldn't we launch them before their bombers hit our cities? Our submarines are automatically issued sailing orders instructing them to run with their radios off so that they cannot be tracked. Now, in about seven hours, they will surface and listen for new orders. If they hear nothing, they'll fire. Why wait seven hours? A missile hits its target in 30 minutes, but the bombers require nearly eight hours to hit theirs so that the bombers are slow, natural pauses, giving you and the Soviet president time to turn off this war. Uh, sir, you have a copy of his message in your folder, sir. He offers to accept an equal amount of damage to the Soviet Union. Oh, yes, I see. And we're supposed to just take his word for it, huh? Mr. President, historical fact. The Soviets have always been willing to accept massive losses to achieve victory. Colonel, this isn't the 1950s. They're not looking for new worlds to conquer anymore. Mr. President... I have a very hard time believing that the Soviets want this war any more than we do. Whew. Recall some of our bombers and see how the Soviets respond. Well, I... Mr. President, there is another solution. Cut the head off the chicken. Hey, Brad. Bradner. Say it happened, okay? I will say it happened, but uh, you gotta meet me halfway at this, okay? Huh? What do you say, buddy? Just meet me halfway on this. Shut up. Just meet me halfway, Radner. It happened, okay? But not to Timmy, okay? It happened to Annie, but it didn't happen to Timmy, okay? Because I'd never just... i never said goodbye to him, Radner. Hey, Tyler. How you doing down there, buddy? Oh, hang on here. We, we got bogeys. 12 o'clock. Bogeys, my ass. Them's bandits. Distance, velocity. Uh, 30 miles or fast. They're closing very fast. We have two. The cor correction, we got three bandits. Equipment and systems check. Jam it, decoys, chap. We better look like an armada. Chap, it hit blast release, sir. 25 miles. 20 miles. 
Nips must be Fox Specs. Specs. Top speed on a MiG-25, Mach 2.8, range 1,500 miles one way. 15 miles. On it. Two heat-seeking missiles range 10 miles. Two radar-guided missiles range 15 miles. They'll use both. No cannon armaments. 10 miles. Uh, missiles launched. We have two missiles launched. Hard to guys are jammed. Shovel that stuff like hay, hooks. You got it, Major. They're going for the decoys. powerful enemy can be defeated only by the utmost effort and by seizing every opportunity. Lenin said that, sir. The Soviets live by it. And I believe if we call back our bombers, the Soviets would simply see this as a sign of weakness. That's a dangerous speculation, Colonel. Well, let him finish, please. Sir. May I go to the map, sir? Yes, of course. Sir, these red dots represent Soviet leadership bunkers. Inside, you'll find the party hierarchy, the Presidium, KGB, the president himself. They are the head of the communist body. You cut off that head and the body dies. Sir, they've got a massive arsenal over there, and we don't know whose finger's on that button. We can order our B-52s on a grand tour of the Soviet Union. This is madness, sir. Yeah, we got madness piled on madness tonight. Colonel Tallis, what would you do about the Soviet bombers? Recalling our bombers won't stop them, sir. Sir, we have some fighters left. We have thousands of commercial jets. We can ram their bombers. You're joking. Is that possible? Sir, there is no defense against this stuff. They have over 300 bombers. And what about their ICBMs? You take out these red dots, there won't be anyone left to fire the ICBMs. Sir, we are wasting time here. Use the pause. Settle things down. The best defense cut off the head of the Soviet chicken. Harry Truman said he felt like a bale of hay landed on him. I feel like I got the whole damn barn. I need a moment alone. Coming up to the next turn point. New heading will be 225. There's mountainous terrain after the turn point. Roger that. Come on. Come on, you bastard. down here. I gotta get the president to a military hospital with a radio. Closing. We'll be over the ridge in 40 seconds. 
bomb away. And release. Bomb away. Plus 15 seconds. Bandage, five miles in closing. Plus 25. Plus 30 seconds. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, shit, it's a dud. We got a load of fucking duds. Come on, darling. Good nature. Yeah, all right, all right. Watch this. Plus 40 seconds. Bandits. Plus 45 seconds. Thailand, Thailand, bandits. Did anybody get through? Plus 50 seconds. <laughs> Time for this right now. Got a Come lot. on, boy, show him, show him. Officer, let's get this man inside. Come on, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. President. Harpoon, do you think I'm scared? You were a few minutes ago, sir. I hope you are now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm scared. I'm scared of losing. We're going with the Grand Tour. Sir, history can't wait. I hope there will be a history to hear you. Where are you going? To my quarters, sir. Admiral? Sir, aren't you forgetting something? The card. need this. Orders to the bombers go through the looking glass plane. And the code at the top proves that you're authentic. The colonel will give you the word code. Did you really forget to give me this? I'm not really sure, sir. Good luck. Thank you. I think I'm going to need it. Yes, we'll all need it tonight. The president's legs are crushed. This man has a compound fracture of the arm and head injuries. Could we get more ice, please? Just relax, Mr. President. You'll feel better in a minute. What's with the IV? Lactated ringers, two milligrams of morphine. Give him two more milligrams. 
Yeah. No morphine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Take it easy. You'll be okay, soldier. Alice here. Condor speaking. E4. Day word. Cottonmouth. Command word. Trinity. Action word. Jerry Cow. You have your card, sir. I do. Upper right hand corner. Please read the last three digits. Seven C two. See for what, sir? Charlie. Second line from the top. Please read the middle sentence. Six D six two. Deeper what, sir? Damn it! Are all you people waiting on World War Four, Alice? You wish to issue an order change, sir? I sure as I'll do. Did the uh, harpoon give you the signal code, sir? He's temporarily incapacitated. Ah. Uh, yes, sir. Forty four strategic coming. Can I give you some advice, sir? <sighs> Getting plenty of that down here. I'm sure you have, sir. Uh, the situation is fluid. We've gotten our first coded messages from the ground. Gobbled, but coded. That means we're getting our communications back. Good, that's good news. Now, I'm ordering 2-1 Zebra. We're getting things back, sir. I'd orbit and wait. Well, then you orbit and wait. I have no time. The Russians have too many missiles, and the Colonel says they're out of control. Fargo? With all due respect, sir, I'd run this past Harpoon first. Alice, implement 2-1 Zebra. Yes, sir. It'll take a few minutes, sir. Are you stalling me, Alice? No, sir. At the hand sort this. New assignments, priorities. We're saying too much, sir. Alice, get your tail moving fast. Got a 2-1 Zebra. Jesus. You're kidding. Wish the hell I was. Captain. So tell me what I already know. Orbit, await orders. <sighs> Get the feeling we're going around in circles? This is one circle. I'm not sure we should complete. You're not suggesting treason, are you, darling? Why don't presidents have a personnel reliability program? Oh, Jesus, don't get on that now. Yeah, well, who the hell did this? I bet you no president ever went through our little reliability program. You think the Politburo's got psychological screening or whatever they call it? None of them would have passed. And it's hard to find perfect people. None of us pass tonight. You want to get philosophical in your sunset years, darling? Hours. Sunset hours. Major, we've got another SATCOM message coming in. Come the orders to go back to Spokane. This is pit stop two. Please identify. Please speak English. Get the boss on the double. This is a priority channel. You're required to identify yourself. What do you got, Hooks? Message is 2-1 Zebra. The hell's 2-1 Zebra? Devin Moreau, what's going on? The Grand Tour. What? Precision bombing of political military infrastructure. Target Soviet city of Sharapovitz. Primary relocation site of Soviet president. Chief of KGB. Minister of Defense. Commanding general of Soviet rocket forces. Leadership bunkers. You want us to take out the big bananas? I think somebody's gone, Bananas. Request confirmation. You just get promoted? Request confirmation. Do it, Hooks. Yes, sir. What the hell are you looking at? You know what this means? Yeah. 
It means we don't have to drop a million tons of TNT on a bunch of civilians. Isn't that better for God's sake? You mean more satisfying? Damn right. Maybe it'll help get this thing over with faster. Faster? You do not kill the enemy's leaders. You know that. They know that. Somebody's got to be there to turn it off. Confirm 2-1 Zebra. NCA code is Hen House. Look up Hen House. No. The hell you want me to do? Write my congressman? It won't make any difference. I know. Nothing's gonna change. Somebody will do it. Sheriff Povitz will go along with the president and the generals. I know. And New York. Who's by every goddamn thing in between? I know, but I'm not gonna do it. I can't. You can't. I won't. You'd have turned a minute, man, Key, without thinking. They gave me time to think. Damn it. Who could get the hell out of here? What am I supposed to do? Shoot you? Eject you? Put you down on the ice? Turn the plane, Major. That's what I want you to do. Turn the plane. Got it? You are relieved, Captain. Get the hell out of here. Damn it, Earl. Don't leave me now. So what's next? God damn it, how the hell should I know? War, sir. Under no circumstances will I supply you such information. I know your E4 aircraft is flying. Will you, for the sake of both our nations, transmit the message to the E4 informing your president that our president wishes to communicate directly with him? Look, mister, I don't know who you are, and I will not supply strategic information to any damn Russian. This is the Soviet president. With whom am I speaking? Doing good, champ. Uh, we're not going in. There's no purpose in it. Yes, sir. was a cop, Major. I know, Red. She was a damn good one. She protected us, Major. I know. You should be proud of her. You protected her. I am emergency war order ready, sir. I know, Tyler. We all were. 
been evil for a long time now. Sorry, Ray. Yeah, I know. I'll, uh, I'll take care of him. Captain, this just came in. Roger, we see that uh, ER. Excuse me, sir. What? One of our bombers turned, General. Who turned? Polar Bear 1. Turned southeasterly. The date has been confirmed. We have to inform Condor, sir. Yeah? Of course we do. What was that all about? Tyler and I had a little failure to communicate. Uh-huh. Hey, Ty, are you all right? I have no injuries, Captain. I am EWO ready, and you are cowardice. It's me. It's me, Tom. Tom, where are we? FEMA bunker at Olney, sir. What's the matter with me? Your legs are broken, sir. I can't see, Tom. Sir, did you look at the blast? Did you see the blast? Excuse me, sir. Uh, our preliminary data show that it could have been much worse. Most of the targets were military, and a few cities were hit intentionally. Who are you? Bascom, sir. Director, Northeast Region, FEMA, retired Army. There is one more thing, sir. About an hour ago, we received a rather um, peculiar message on the radio from the Soviet Union. Uh, the speaker claimed to be the Soviet president. Uh, excuse me, sir. I talked to him. I'm sure he was an imposter. He wanted a, uh, us to patch him through to the E-4. Apparently, an alternate E-4 made its way out of Omaha and picked up a presidential successor in Baton Rouge. Successor? Everybody thinks you're dead, sir, including the Soviet president. That call was authentic. Well, who's that game's president? Apparently, the fate of the country is now in the hands of... Secretary of the Interior, sir. in one plane and the Mad Hatter in the other. What makes you so sure you're not talking to the Soviet president? He was too rude, sir. He was far too rude for a national leader. Rude? You want to hear a, a national leader get rude? What did he say to you? Well, sir, uh, I... Oh, for God's sake. He said Bascom couldn't find his ass with both hands and a funny dog. From what you just said, I'd say you hung up on the Soviet president. Get him back for me, and quickly. Yes, sir. What is your state of readiness? Speak, asshole, you ready? Are you ready? Well, I'm seeing more bandits. But they just
just turned. They're, they're turning back, sir. What's going on? You got me. We better go down there and check it out. Roger. Precedence, sir. Oh, the hell with precedence. There's no precedence for anything tonight. We send up interceptors and bring them down, sir. You shoot them down? First, we try to force them to land, sir. Condor, uh, sir, there's something you should know. The Soviet ears are opening. We're getting bits of messages from inside Russia. Why wasn't I told about this? We can't make much of it, sir, but we can determine they are rattled, just as we are. You think we're rattled? Yes, sir. I'll let you in on a little secret, Alice. What rattles me most are my own damn military geniuses. In this one, sir, there are no military geniuses. Really? General. Captain! He needs to know this, sir. Excuse me, sir. Shortly after Polar Bear 1 turned, the Soviet bomber squadron following them also turned. Any others? No, sir, just the one squadron. Sir, it could be that they're signaling their willingness to stabilize at current levels. Why don't you turn more bombers and see if they reciprocate? Oh, you know how I read this one, Alice. We have one deserter, they have a whole squadron. First time we come out ahead tonight. I read it differently, sir. Turn the bombers. See what happens. You don't understand what's going on here, do you? We stop now, we lose. This president has a determination to wage a nuclear war until an acceptable outcome is achieved. Acceptable to whom, sir? Acceptable to me and the American people. Now, you put another bomber on the hen house fast. Did you get that? I hear you, sir. And you put out general orders to bring down Polar Bear 1. Did you hear that? Yes, sir. You don't sound convinced, General. I don't believe I am, sir. Mr. President, sir, we have the capability Give the orders from here. Fine, fine. We can send the orders from here. I suggest you do that, sir. Am I hearing you correctly? I believe you did. General, you're fired. They'll shoot you for this, General. Sam, old friend, I should find such an angel of mercy. Radner? Books? They're gone. Fuel. 
86,000 pounds. Not gonna get very far on that. Yep. Got any ideas? <laughs> Think we could make Bora Bora? Maybe we ought to face reality. If we're lucky, reality's a firing squad. And if we're unlucky? Planet of the Apes, darling. Remember 2-1 Zebra? Did we do anything right? We did what we had to do. Did we do anything right? Mr. President. Sir? You are aware that one of your bombers turned an in response. I turned the squadron of mine. No, I... I was not aware of that, Mr. President. But it certainly is reassuring news. Unfortunately, Mr. President, the remainder of both our bomber fleets continues to advance. But this will be nothing compared to the devastation from your submarine-based missiles. I believe they operate on a pre-programmed attack schedule, yes? That is correct, sir. How much time before they launch? I can assure you, Mr. President, I'd tell you if I knew, but I have no idea. Mr. President, my situation at this moment is most difficult. You must be aware I will no longer be able to control my forces if you are unable to control yours. Well aware. Can you give me one hour, Mr. President? I'll try to turn those bombers around. I will do everything in my power. But if the others here believe for an instant that you are insincere, I won't be able to give you two minutes. Yes. Yes, I understand that. Destiny be with you, my friend. And God with you, Mr. President. Almost time for sunrise. I don't know if I want to see it. Be glad something's here we couldn't screw up. I'm glad it's here. Excuse me, sir. What? The president is on the phone. Condor. No, sir. The president. Yeah. Alice here. This is the president speaking. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Day word. I don't think we have time for that, General. Give me that day word or you're talking to yourself. Day word, Cottonmouth. Command word, Trinity. Action word, Jericho. Now you'll probably ask me for the authenticator codes, right? Keep going, you're on a roll. I don't have my authenticator cards, Alice. And besides, I'm blind and I couldn't read the damn things if I did. Without that card, I don't know who you are. So what do we do now? You, you want to quiz me on the Brooklyn Dodgers, or Betty Grable's measurements? Or... I'm disconnecting. Now hold it, General. This is the President of the United States. Now we could play this by the book if you'd like and blow the damn wheel of smithereens. Now is that what you want? Now look, I need a pass through to the E4. The Secretary of Interior thinks he's a president. I need to talk to him fast. It's about the submarines. Do you understand? Without those codes, the E-4 won't give you the time of day. You can give me the goddamn codes. Now, I need a patch through to the E-4. Will you do it? I'm sorry, sir. For God's sakes, it's me, Charlie. Look, we got to stop this damn thing now. It's down to us. Recall the bomber, Sam. What? You heard me. We have a new commander-in-chief. <sighs> hey. Hey, look down there. Well, these boys look serious. I'd say real serious. 
Polar Bear 1, this is Red Fox 1 of USS Midway Pacific Battle Group on guard. Jesus, famous. Uh, that's us, pal. Well, we have NCA orders to escort you to a water landing and rescue or shoot you down. Polar Bear 1, do you understand? Sorry, friend. The partner here is afraid of sharks. Polar Bear 1, do you know what a sidewinder will do to your crate? A little short on humor. Hey, sailor. You want to say goodbye to the lady on my rank here first? We don't want to do this, buddy. Affirmative as in a course change. The president is on the line, sir. Sir, I've turned the bombers, but I cannot issue orders to the submarines. The Air Force cannot give orders to the Navy. Mr. President, the Navy has two Tacomo planes for communicating to the subs. One over the Atlantic, the other over the Pacific. You'll take orders only from the president or his successor. Sir, I must give you the authenticator codes. Condor. My God, is that what they call you? I wouldn't stand for that if I were you, Mr. Secretary. Mr. President? I'm afraid the reports of my death have been greatly exaggerated. I'm told you've done a superb job in my absence, and I congratulate you. Now we must work together to take the next step. The bombers have already been turned, but we haven't much time. You turned the bombers? We must stop the submarines, and it's going to take the two of us. We must give orders for a ceasefire. Then we'll put what's left of our country back on its feet. The Russians have people trained to sound like the president. Who is this? Do you want me to give you the authenticator codes? I certainly do. So even if he gets the numbers right, you see, they could have intercepted our communications by now. The Russians may have the code. Who the hell is this? This is the president. Johnny, a real president would do what's right for the country. Shut up. Just shut up. Two weeks ago, in a speech I heard the president say, this is not the time to let down our guard when it comes to the Soviet Union. Radical change brings chaos. Turn back our bombers? Stop our subs? No. Never. I must be talking to somebody else. You know damn well who this is. You're making a monumental mistake. I don't know. But you jump, they'll pull you out. Lost you in the sun, Red Fox One. About two o'clock. You'll pick me up in a second. Gotta listen to the play by play. Roger, I uh, got you. You now. want a black hood? All right, let's not get a bloody nose. Okay, Red Fox One, pull in tighter. See ya. Roger two, got him. Three miles. Okay, one. Let's go for it. Tom? Two? Shit duty, isn't it? Everything's shit duty today. In we go, Red Fox 2. Oh, this guy's got a lot of heart. Everybody's doing their duty today. Harpoon reporting, sir. Yes, sir. A question. Who is authorized to issue new orders to the submarine? Only you can issue orders to the subs using the Takamal planes. And if someone counterfeited the codes so that the orders appeared to come from me? I don't see how they could. What happens if the Takamal planes receive conflicting orders? What's going on, sir? Did Alice turn the B-52s? I asked you a question, sir. He did. He turned them. What did the Russian bombers do? The Russian bombers turned in response, didn't they? You can't even consider using the sub Talk now. Talk to me about conflicting orders. The Soviets couldn't send us a clearer signal. But they've given us, Admiral, is a clear military advantage. Our subs against the remaining ICBMs, no contest. What happens if the Takamo planes get conflicting orders? Your president asked you a question, sir. Both sets of orders 
have the proper codes. The planes will follow the original orders. The subs will fire at 1400 Zulu. That's all. You're dismissed. This isn't about Russia anymore. It's God's work you're destroying now. You're dismissed, sir! Freeze! Freeze! Oh, shoot! Shoot! Bring down the plane! Go ahead, please! Shoot! How far from the E-4 are you? 120 miles, sir. There must be some other way. I'm afraid not, sir. If you can contact attack more planes, you can bet E-4 can. If the subs get conflicting orders, they will fire as planned in one hour. I don't know what to say, General, except... Thank you. No thanks necessary, Mr. President. Alice, will you call again before... Before we ram them. Sure. He's a girl smoke, Sam. My wife says they won't kill me as fast. Red Fox One, you are not going to bring us down? What's the point? Our carrier's gone. We've got no place to land. Not going to drag you down with us. Let's tag along. Palm trees, coconuts, native girls. Uh, that's a negative thing. We blew half our gas getting up here. Be running on vapors long before we got to paradise. Ain't that always the truth? Say, polar bear. Yeah, Red Fox. Later, when we come paddling in, she bring on those dancing girls here. You bet, Red Fox. Turn that thing off. You don't care about the radiation anymore, sir? No, I don't. What should we care about now? Smitty? Care about catching E4. Colonel, I show an aircraft less than 100 miles in closing. You got an ID? I believe it's the looking glass, sir. What the hell are they doing there? Yes, Fargo. I've hated him. sir looks like we're both flying the same speed but they're dodging the hot clouds if we fly straight through we should catch up pretty quick gentlemen we must now regard the looking glass plane as an enemy aircraft manned by treasonous men flanders we'll look to you to keep him off us no more flying around radioactive clouds understood yes sir that'll be all gentlemen thank you dismissed Are you all right, sir? Yeah, I'm fine, John. Thanks. Can the Russians be jamming us? No, but they can listen over their two bonus satellites, sir. Where are they? Right now, they've got one over the Atlantic and one over the Pacific, sir. OK, we're in business. Give me a hookup. It'll be difficult, but I'll try, sir. Sorry, sir, I'm getting nothing from the Takamo planes. Try the low frequency channels. There they are. 
Where? Yeah, I see them. Looks like they're going back on a straight course. They're going to take the rats, too. This is going to make it tougher. You're doing good, Smitty. Am I improving the odds? About 90 to 1. Ladder number six! Shut it down! Got them, sir. Good work, Lieutenant. Alice, we made our way through to the Takamo planes. Unfortunately, the E-4 beat us to it. Conflicting orders, Mr. President. The submarines will launch. The Takamos have asked for confirmation. It'll take a few minutes to move the codes. Can you catch them in five minutes? Sorry, sir. They're going straight through, too. We can't gain on them. Try. Of course, sir. We'll try. What time is it? Uh, 1355 hours, sir. Call us back in exactly two minutes. 1357 hours exactly. We're counting seconds now, Alice. The fate of this planet may be riding with you. Yes, sir. Smitty, burn out every fan in those engines. We've got five minutes or it's all over. That may not do any good, sir, but I'll try. Will somebody give me a cigarette? A real cigarette! Going full for our stall engines. Roger that, we are still sending. Damn it, we're not gonna make it. Too rough to test, prepare to eject. Wait, wait! We are holding altitude. We are holding altitude. I think we got a chance. Roger that. Looks like the storm's breaking up. Excuse me, sir. Yes? We've just reached the Takamo planes. You've got to bring down your authenticator card. Who oh, in heaven's name did you do that? We went through two Russian satellites to reach our planes. How's that for sticking it to them? Good work. Well, let's get on to it. Excuse me, sir. Where the hell is Alice? Right on our tail, sir. Keep that bastard off us for 15 minutes if you want to win this war. Win? I thought we were supposed to stop this thing. Yeah. None filter, sir. God bless you, Mary. General, it's the president, sir. General, I have the Kremlin on the line. His people are monitoring the E-4 transmission. You have three, maybe four minutes. Can you do it in that time? No, sir, I cannot. You understand what this means? Yes, sir. It's hopeless? Well, sir, if the E-4 pilot makes a mistake, slips up, maybe, but he won't. I know him. He's good. Right now, he sees himself pursued by a madman. General. Sir. Against your wishes, I'm going to thank you. Not all our people's programming was faulty. Because we're using an unconventional relay, sir, it can take five or six minutes. They don't want voice. They want it on paper in a specific sequence or to be ignored. Well, then, let's get on with it, huh? Right away. Thank you, sir. time, sir.
you've taken the chance to live, it's okay to die. <laughs> Nobody's dying now. Where do we go from here? I don't know. Welcome to tomorrow.